How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be a collection video and it's going to be on some old uh, comic books that we've had for uh, years now and uh, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys and this is going to be part one of at least two and then there are some recent uh, other uh, comics that I picked up that I'll be doing uh, individual uh, videos for uh, later on. So uh, got quite a bit to show here and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first up we're gonna have some image comics. First up we have Death Blow and Tribe. There we go. And these are in these nice uh, black uh, covers here and with the Death Blow one here you see the uh, his face right there. Just trying to get the light on it. There we go. And then on the back of this one, you get the Cybernary. Excuse me, Cybernary. There we go. And uh, I believe this is the uh, premiere of it during this time. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So you do get a story of that uh, in here as well. And then here is. Tribe. There we go. Really nice cover here. And next up we have Storm Watch. There we go. Next, Cyber Force Zero. And this I've actually found more of at a uh, local. Uh, uh, comic shop that I go to so yeah really cool so I might pick up more of these and next up we have Young Blood there we go I believe that subtitles like battle something I, I can't quite make up the rest of it and uh, there we go and then this character here I believe that's supposed to be Chapel from uh, Spawn there we go Here's a, another Young Blood comic. This is a Strike File. There you go. That's a real nice cover there. And this one has a another one right there. That looks cool. There we go. And yeah, these um, this first part is just going to contain the the. Uh, the ones that we've had in just the, in a box that we got at a, uh, believe at a garage sale uh, when we were, uh, believe in like middle school. And uh, yeah, so uh, long time now. <laughs> so here is Darker Image, and there's a big name right there, Jim Lee. And there you see the Max. So this, I believe, has like different stories. And then next up we have the Savage Dragon. This is the third rockin' issue. There we go. And this is him battling uh, Bedrock. There we go. And then last up for the uh, image comics is uh, Mystery Incorporated. There we go. And I believe that's the number one. Uh, yeah, that's a book one. There we go. And then, next up we have some Valiant comics. This is Rai and the Future Force. Yeah, I want to say it's pronounced Rai or maybe pronounced Ray. There we go. And then, next up we have the Hard Corpse. Or corpse. There we go. It's a cool cover. And that was volume number six. This is volume number eight. Or issue, rather. There we go. Next up, we have an issue of Bloodshot. Really nice. And Exo Man of War. And there's a very familiar character right there. I'll get to that in a second. 
And then next up we have Magnus Robot Fighter. Really nice cover, really, uh, really nice. And this is uh, pushed upward, so yeah, it does, like, you can feel it and stuff. Really cool. And that character from Exo Man of War that he was with is this guy, Turok Dinosaur Hunter. I've played the a ton out of the games uh, growing up. Uh, Turok, really cool character. Really awesome. And then next up we have Shadow Man. And see if I can get it to clear out. There we go. And here's another issue of Shadow Man. There we go. And then last up for the Valiant Comics is uh, Secret Weapons. I believe this is number one. Yes, it is. This I've actually found at a uh, local comic shop. So there we go. There's the Exo there. There's Shadow Man and I believe there's Bloodshot. So this you get like a mixture of characters. And so I've actually found uh, individual comics for uh, this character here as well. I forget his name at the moment, but yeah. There we go. So now next up is going to be the uh, Marvel and uh, DC. So starting off with Marvel, sadly this one, the cover is gone. <laughs> it was like this in the box. Uh, just at a, like we just got a, like a flea market and stuff, so... Um, but the rest of it's intact. This is the Stan Lee Presents the Invincible Iron Man. There we go. I believe this is, uh, this says Volume 1, number 291 on the bottom there. There we go. I'm going to open this up real quick. See, cool, cool art right there. And there's also another character in here, War Machine. There we go. That's a cool shot right there. And there he is kicking some butt. And then next up are some Punisher comics. This is the Punisher. I believe it that says 2099 or uh, it looks like 2099 or 49. Something like that. There we go. This is still wrapped in its plastic Techno Gladiators. There we go. And the next one is another uh, Punisher. This is 404. Sadly, I don't have the rest of them, but I am looking for them. Uh, this is Punisher POV. There we go. And next up is a couple issues of the Punisher War Journal. There we go. It's payback time. <laughs> There we go, and this is issue number 49. And then this one is issue number 54. Frank versus the, versus the family. There we go. Yeah, and these are all still wrapped in its plastic. And then next up, Avengers West... Uh, oh, geez, excuse me. Can't talk today. <laughs> Avengers West Coast, uh, West Coast terminated. And when the Avengers collide, the demise and fall of the Avengers West Coast. So I believe this is when they, they officially get disbanded and stuff. So I believe that's when that happens. Yeah. There we go. Because I know they eventually stopped making West Coast comics. I wonder if this is like the beginning of it. There we go. And then, last up for the Marvel, there are two more. I will be showing those in a second. Uh, and then here is the, uh, or towards the end, uh, beginning the 30th anniversary celebration of the Avengers. And it's got this really nice cover with Vision. And there you see alternate Visions right there. That's really nice. And actually, I think I'll open this up. It. And so, like, there you see, there's Captain America. 
and show some more here. I believe that's vision right there. They're really nice. And then next up are the DC. So here is Funeral for a Friend. Uh, this has Dash 4, so I believe there's other parts. Here is Superman. And this is right after the, the death of Superman. Or this might be a couple issues after. There we go. There you see other heroes right there. That's really cool. And then next up we have Reign of the Supermen. And this edition is really cool. There's actually four of these. Uh, yeah, there we go, four. And <laughs> uh, I happen to have uh, two of them. And this is really cool. You get a poster. But uh, see, this is how, this is all cut out. And there you see the symbol. And there you see one of the four Supermen. And this is Cyborg Superman. There we go. At least that, that's what I know him as, mostly. <laughs> There we go. And then I'll show you guys the poster. Which is right here. So you can get it to clear up a bit. There we go. Yeah, so this is the poster that you get. And each one has one. I mean, that's just cool. And uh, do I have Death of Superman? Yes, I do. I'll be showing that in a... Uh, probably going to be in part two. So, uh, yeah, so here we go. So here is Back from the Dead, The Adventures of Superman. And this features the appearance of the four Supermen. So this you'll get, um, let's see if I can get to it here real quick. There we go. So here is John Henry Irons who is Steel. I believe that's his full name. Yeah, there we go. Do you have, here you have one of the other ones there. I forget this one's name, this guy's name. Ah, there we go, now it's gonna bother me. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I just work here guys. I just, <laughs> and then here is uh, Superboy. There we go. And then the the last one is the Cyborg Superman. So there we go. So this this issue shows the first appearance of these guys, and that's really cool. I've actually found a couple of these. So there we go. And then next up we have Reign of the Superman, The Adventures of Superman. This is number 501. Truth and Justice. My way. <laughs> yes, it's Superboy. Next we have Adventures of Superman. There we go. This is number 505. Really nice cover. And then next up, uh, so this is the, the second one. And here we go. Same thing. Has a cutout. Reign of the Superman. And there we go. And I'll also show you guys the poster. There we go. So that's like the statue, I believe, that they made. And then in his honor, then here we go. That's really, really cool. Very nice. And then uh, next we have Justice League Task Force. There we go. Really cool. This is number five. And then next up is going to be some Batman comics. So here is Batman number 490. There you go. There you see. That's a really cool picture of him and the Riddler. That's really, really nice. Really love the detail, the colors. And this is uh, 491. And that's a cool shot. There you see the Joker right there. There you see he says Arkham Asylum <laughs> on his jacket there. 
There we go. And then we have some Batman Nightfall comics. So here is number three. And here is number four. Here you see Bane, Killer Croc, and Robin. Looks like he needs some help. And then here is number five. Here you see the Scarecrow, Joker, and Batman's like, get out of there. <laughs> and then here is number seven. There we go. There you see Poison Ivy right there. We got a trap. There we go. So that does it for this little, um, these two piles here. And then I'm also going to show a couple of uh, big um, trades and then a couple of uh, single issues. So first up is going to be, this is from uh, Top Cow. Wanted. This was really good. I really like this comic. This is really awesome. This is the uh, trade uh, collection. And let me show that back here. And uh, did I see the live movie of this? Yes, I did. Um, and I actually, if I remember correctly, I believe I had the comic first. Or I think I got it after. I'm trying to recall. It's been quite a while. And um, let me just show some of the art here. The art in here is really amazing, really nice. There we go. And yeah, the movie, it I mean, it has some elements that are in here, but it this has a lot more to it. So actually quite a bit. <laughs> so let me raise it there and zoom out a bit. There we go. And then the second trade is another collection of, uh, this is one of the all out best that I've read and um, I think one of the best overall, uh, Watchmen. There we go. And have I seen the movie of this? Yes, I have. I've also seen the, uh, uh, the motion comic and uh, I believe it's Watchmen, the Black Freighter. There we go. There we go. This was really, really good. Um, Watchmen, just all out amazing. And uh, there you see Rorschach. There you see him in Night Owl. That's a cool shot right there. You see the comedian. There's Dr. Manhattan, the Silk Spectre right there. Osmondias, or I believe it's Osmondias. Or Deus, I forget how it's pronounced. There we go. But yeah, I've heard it pronounced different ways. But yeah, Watchmen. Definitely, excuse me, definitely worth it. There we go. And then last up is going to be a couple of uh, Marvel uh, comics I've had for years now. Spider Man. So this is Spider Man Classics. This is number four. And this has him and Doc Ock. There we go. This is still wrapped in its plastic. And then last up for this part is going to be Amazing Fantasy number 15. And this is the first appearance of Spider-Man. And this um, came with the collector's edition of the first Spider-Man movie starring uh, Tobey Maguire. And uh, so yeah, you got this. So this is really, really cool. And this is still wrapped up. haven't opened it. So yeah, really, really awesome. There we go. And that just about does it for this video. So stay tuned for part two. And uh, so like the video if you do, subscribe if you like, and I'll see you guys next time.